Sometimes fear rises up in us. We, we got to cast out that spirit of fear and step out of that boat and walk toward the, 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 the position of the path that God placed before us. And just like Peter, when he stepped out of the boat, when they, when they seen Jesus coming, walking on the water, and he said, Lord, is that you uh, caused me to come to, uh, me to come to you. And at first they were so fearful, and that would make anybody fearful seeing somebody coming towards you walking over the, uh, walking over the water. But faith rose up in him, and he started walking over, walking, got out of the boat, and started walking towards Jesus. And, he, and he, but when he took his mind off of Jesus because of the storm, he began to see. But God lifted them up, hallelujah. And then when they got back in the boat, it's amazing that when they got back in the boat, the storm ceased. That's how it is in our lives. Storms are ceased. But we have to keep our minds on Jesus and trust in him that whatever we go through, he's always there to take us through that situation. That's right. Either way, at this time, we give opportunity for comment.
vision. One way is a little bit more guided than yeah. the other. So yeah. going with Christ is more guided. Mm-hmm. If you, you're able to go through your storm, you yeah. know, without any issues. But when you stay on that boat in your comfort zone, you you play a Russian roulette. You know really what I mean? Are. There is no guidance. There is no no path for you there. That's just straight turmoil. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get out here into the boat and go before him to the other side. Where do you read from? Matthew 14, chapter 22, verse 14 and 22. Okay. Okay, immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go to, before him to the other side. Why he sent the multitudes away. The multitude was the one that was the 5,000 that he fed, that he had fed earlier that day. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now, when the evening came, he was alone there. But the boat. He was alone there, but the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary, the wind was strong. Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, He a good cheer, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, Oh, you a little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those who were in the boat, boat came and worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. And it took all that when they realized he was the Son of God. After all that they had been through, all that the miracles they had already seen, why would you even question that he's the Son of God? And we got to have that faith and trust in God that what the, what, whatever he say, it will come to pass. And we just thank God for the for his verse. We just thank God that we can come out of that boat and be comfortable that God is there to lift us up in times of trouble. Because we go through so much in this world. Hallelujah. We can we got we have God that we can lean on and trust in him. Because we go through things in our families and our bodies, hallelujah. Just things in this world is just not getting no better and 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 people coming up against us and Troubles in our way all the time, we just, but we gotta continue to trust in God. Even though like, when, when we go when we going through our tests and trials, we gotta have to trust in God and lift, lift them up in praise. Even though it seems hard at times, but, but, but continue to lift them up in praise, and the things will start getting better for you. We gotta to continue to praise God because that's what He wants us to do. He wants us to praise Him. Praise and lift them up. The praises help bring us out of things that it seems so hard at times that we face them. But God is always there. He said, I never leave you know what I forsake you. He said, I'll be right there to the end of the way. We can call upon his name at any time. Knowing that he's right there. God is an awesome God. He's a wonderful God. He's a merciful God. He's always that right there. We need him. And we cast all our cares upon him. Because he cares for us, hallelujah. And we can leave things in the past and go forward in God, trusting that he's always there, hallelujah. He's making ways out of nowhere. He said, uh, he's coming in right on time. God is an awesome God. He lifts us up when we're down, hallelujah. The word of God said, he lifts us up, hallelujah. Thank you, he carries our sorrows, hallelujah, hallelujah, and our pains. He said, I sit high and I look low. And I can feel your infirmity down here on the earth, knowing that you're still in place. But the word said when the enemy comes in like the flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a stack against them. 
He said they won't put on us how we know more we can bear. How he always, always give them rights and just got a way of escape. So we just come, we can call upon his night. Even at midnight hour, we can call upon him knowing that he hears us. He hears and he answers our prayers. He's a wonderful, awesome, God, lovely God. And we can come together where it's two or three of us touching and agreeing. Here on earth on the same thing, God said he'll be right there to be. So come out of the boat and trust God and know that he's right there when you need him. Come out of the boat. Take that step of faith, trusting in God that he's always right there. That he'll come to your rescue. Have a good time. So he said, I sit high. And I look slow. And I can feel your infirmities down here in the same knowledge to stay in place. But it said, when the enemy comes in, in like a flood, how many of the spirit of the Lord will lift up a stacking against them? He said, I'm going to put on you how many know more than you can bear. How many that we can give all our child, all our tests, all our troubles to him, knowing that he's right there. Lord, I give you praise for your sin and mercy. Thank you, dear love and grace, to all of those that hear me on today. I hope you that you hear something that encourages you on today, that will lift you up and help you to be able to step out of that boat and trust God because he loves you. He loves each and every one of us. He loves you on today. And don't give up. Don't give up. Trust God that he will be to come to your rescue in times of trouble. So step out of the boat. So step out of the boat because some of the life that we go through is only a test of your faith and strengthen us for whatever comes our way. Life is like an old flowing river. We have ups and downs, but the path that we follow leads to eternal life. We're following Christ. Amen. And God bless you all today. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. 